Let's just uh, throw in a very quick update on the differential here for our uh, straight cut gearbox. We can see here that we've got our uh, K5 Blazer tailgate in a lovely sunny spot. Uh, with this differential, and we'll try to keep out of the shadows too much, I've selected what I consider to be the very best available stock components. This is a late A-plus housing, so you have these little notches here for the uh, thrust uh, washer behind these pinion gears. And it's got this block in the middle that uh, uses these gears with the wider little machined edge there, so everything stays located better than the earlier ones. What we have found, though, this might be out of our original 850 Moke gearbox. Found an old 376 gear set. I took it all apart and took these old metal thrust washers out. These go behind these side gears. I really like these. I've used them on special gearboxes when you're going to use the stock setup with the thrust washers. Compare this to the, you know, here's what you take out a lot of times. They crumble, they're fiber. I mean, it's what's available and they work okay, but they do take a bit of a beating uh, over time. I've seen these things here come out of really old boxes in great shape. So there we go, A plus stuff. Again, I'm in favor of reversing the load direction when possible. Now, th this was in, an eight, uh, in a 998 uh, late A plus box. You can barely tell which side was the direction of where, but still, and, and taking end for end so that all the ones that were coasting are now going to be taking the load to use brand new surfaces. Uh, just some details, uh, we're going 365, 1762, a late A plus, DAM 4163. So that's going to give us uh, still a pretty tall first gear. Uh, straight cut box, in my opinion, you should never uh, go any taller than a 344 with a 1275. Um, this is a kind of a hot 998 that we've been working on. A 365 final drive with 10 inch wheels uh, should get us going if we're careful with the clutch. Light flywheel setup, short stroke engine. Again, uh, not the most ideal combination, but you have to have some compromise if you're going to be able to drive it on the road. Uh, won't be a great freeway car, but we knew that going in and really, let's face it, no classic Mini is going to be a great freeway car. Well, they can make them okay, but you're always going to pay on the on the first gear and the and the chattering clutch if you try to go too tall. This straight cut box came out of a car. It was sent back by someone as a core. They were just unsatisfied with it. It had a three one. First gear was unusable, and add to that, it had that uh, first second hub that was assembled backwards. So, a terrible first gear. You couldn't get second. They just threw in the towel and, and sent it back with the nearly new components as a core. So uh, I grabbed it and we're taking the opportunity to set it up right and make this thing work.